Hi, my name is Howard Wald, and I'm going to show you how I carve these beautiful, lifelike roses in acrylic. I've been doing this kind of work for over 30 years now, and my family has been involved in the art of internal carving and acrylic since the late 1940s. Making the rose in acrylic was one of the hardest things I ever had to learn to do. It took over six months of daily practice to get all the steps and well over a year before I felt I was any good at it. While this art form had a certain popularity 60 years ago, by the time I learned, there were few in this field. Today, there's hardly anyone left who can call themselves an internal carving artist. The drill I'm using is called a hand grinder. It's a powerful tool that spins about four times faster than the typical electric drill you'd have at home. It's held by its shaft, so it can maneuver easily in many directions. At the head of the drill is a bit that is tapered to a sharp point. This tool allows me to make the rose petals and all sorts of seemingly impossible cuts inside the acrylic. I make the stem with a simple twist drill bit that you can find in any hardware store. For the end of the stem, I plunge the drill bit deep into the acrylic and pull it back out. This gives a very nice three-dimensional effect. For the branches and leaves, I go back to using the tapered drill bit. A of leaves is added, and this rose carving is almost done. And although they may look similar, being handmade, no two pieces can ever be carved identically. As soon as the carving process is over, it's time to add color. I use a liquid dye that's injected into the drilled out cavities. The dye will take several hours to dry. When the dye is finally dry, I can remove the protective green film that covered the back of the acrylic. And that's how we make a rose. Thanks for watching, and please visit our website.